Hey guys, just um, fixing up a few things, trying to make sure everything's working alright before we start. Should be starting in uh, about 10-15 minutes. Convinced that you're just one of the good guys. There's no such thing, son. Battlefield Hardline, rated M for mature. You're convinced that you're just one of the good guys. There's no such thing, son. Hardline, rated M for mature. <laughs> Sorry about that. I forgot to mute the uh, stream thing and it was uh, <laughs> playing the ad over and over and over again. Fun.
Alright, I do believe that we are about to get started up in here. And I'll give just a couple more minutes to talk about what I'm going to be doing. So basically I'm going to be playing the Stanley Parable today. Tomorrow I may be doing Terraria or the Stanley Parable. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. It all depends on what I'm in the mood for tomorrow. Um, Friday, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a stream in on that day, and if I do, it'll be extremely short. Um, Saturday, I should have a late stream. And then the next week, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to stream. I should be streaming at, like, on Saturdays until school's over. So, until summer break, I should be streaming on Saturdays. Begin the game. The end is never the end. The end. The end is never the end. I haven't played this game yet. So. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, I didn't get to finish explaining what I was going to do before that, but... Basically, whenever he starts talking, I'm going to go silent and let him finish talking because this game is very, uh, chat driven. Oops. Or, not chat, but narration driven. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't know, I feel like... Right now, I think I'm just gonna do what he says, see how that goes. I haven't played through this yet, I probably said that before. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office hoping he might find an answer there. Papers are too synergized, fire paper guy. <laughs> Hire somebody to fire the paper synergizing guy who moved to my desk. Please keep the targets on the topic of... Someone erase that. Um, get Chris out of the broom closet. I feel like that's not important. I don't even know what synergize means. I like how there's all these little, uh, tidbits everywhere, though. The whiteboard manager. 
Hey Thomas, one, two, three, four, R. What's up? How you doing? Oh, there's a broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. All right. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs. Oh, that's not it. Oh, here it is. What's that? Executive bathroom, can I please? It's kind of upsetting. I want to see what the executive bathroom is. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the key... Is my mic on? Yeah, it is. Sorry about that. ...had behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Ooh, a button. You still there, Thomas? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Mm, spooky. Stanley doing, walked bro? straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, that says escape. But that, he told me to go this way, so. We'll see what this is all about. You have a button. The lights rose on an enormous Ooh, room packed with television screens. <laughs> what horrible secret did this place hold? Stan Can I get over there? Himself. Oh, I can't. Did he speak. have the strength to find out? Oh, sorry, I was talking over the uh, narrator. Sorry about that, narrator. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Another button. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Oh, that's pretty cool. No. Okay. He refused to believe it. He couldn't not. accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley lag? decided that uh, this machinery lag? would never again. Oh, Not seeing any lag, but I might. I don't know. One second. Oh, seven people. Hi there. 
Sorry if there's any lag, guys. I'm not seeing any. I'm not also not seeing my stream, but one sec. I'm gonna make sure there's no lag. Um. I'll keep a watchful eye on it. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. All right. Let's see if this is showing me any lag in a second after this advertisement's through. Alright, I'm not, I'm not seeing that much lag, but I'm sorry if there is any lag. It, it's kind of out of my control how much Wi-Fi is being used right now. Things seem to be going pretty good. Sorry about that, drunken cop. In-game right now, there isn't any lag, but the... Twitch and streaming it sometimes just does that system power. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, oh. And I, everything's off. Did I win? I'm hearing stuff. Was that it? And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. I did win. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet... Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go. Hey to anyone in the stream right now, How how's everything going? Thanks for uh, showing up, that's pretty cool. It will be his, and that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley nope. felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Stanley was happy. Oh. Alright, I'm I'm hoping there's more to Oh, but I, Stanley simply I did a couldn't thing. handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? 
What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. But I didn't In want here, to I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. What even just happened? <laughs> All right, let's not click on the door. I guess that was, there's multiple endings. Cool. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So the last time I went to the door on my left, this time let's go to this the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Hey, it's ah, the employee yes, lounge. truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. All right. Pretty miraculous, I guess. There's some pink yes. Oh. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Just stay in here until he tells me to leave. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy <coughs> and reflected poorly <laughs> on his overall personality. <laughs> it's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> I scared everyone away with because of my obsession with the... Uh... Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Oh, so you but at to last, leave. he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Nah. We already saw that ending. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't <laughs> five years ago. <laughs> this game's funny. It's sassy. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. <laughs> $5,000 for jumping off the cargo lift. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy. Hey, there's really? an open door down there. Maybe if I... But in his eagerness nope. to prove nope. that he is in control nope. of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Did not Good survive Good job, that. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thank you. Don't tell me it starts from the beginning. Oh, it does. That's lame. All of his co-workers were... Wait. No. Wait, what? This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? What? This is different. Oh, no. No! Right. 
when Stanley came to a set of two open What, you're doors, just going to leave he with that? Door on his no, head. I'm going to the right again. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Nah, I'm not kidding. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm not going to stop and admire the employee well, lounge. Yes, this uh, room. No. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. This time I'll wait. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Okay, I want to see I'm what's in there. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm what? not. I realize that unless you don't trust in someone else oh, could be we're difficult. Going I can... But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Mm. What? Maybe. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Dude, I like this guy's narration voice. It's really cool. Now listen carefully, oh. this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. All right. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. <laughs> Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere what? that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're what? doing right now. Don't you see that it's... What is going on? Time? I just... I this wanted isn't, to stop. This isn't possible, would, though. We would both be so much happier like if we just door. stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. No. There's gotta be something at the end of this. Wait. Dude, this game is messing with my brain. It it was dark and now the game's loading. Why? Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Oh, I was supposed to move, okay. What is it? Is it space? Here! Yes. Whoa! Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Dude, he did drugs. This whole room is drugs, I'm out. Wait a minute. That... It's like a little box. This doesn't make sense. It's a TARDIS. I'm going into no, a TARDIS. Wait. Where are you going? Oh, it got cooler. Right. Where were we? You weren't talking, so I just continued on. Yeah, let's go. <sighs> oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. So I can just jump and then die and then restart? Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. I'm taking everything from you. I don't care. Oh, I survived? Oh, thank God you lived. No, 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 what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? It's hashtag yellow. <laughs> Stanley, let's go back to the other room. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? What happens if I go back into the other room? Yes, perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? If you stop talking again, I'm gonna go throw myself off the stairs. Yep. No, perhaps not. He's eerily quiet. I 
I think I'll do Portal 2 tomorrow. Wee. Well, maybe How's that I'll sound good, guys? Kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get... Oh, sorry. Just gotta... Look at something real quick. If you're down in chat, go ahead and uh, get along. say what's up. But I guess that was too much to ask. Tell me how you'd be doing. Like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Oh, I sound so sad. Yellow. Is it over? Oh, I did die. <laughs> it's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Go back. Oh, he didn't even get to finish what he was saying. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Alright. Looks like this little thing keeps getting different every time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, I still doors, want to go to the door on the right this because there was the that way one the upstairs area and Stanley knew it perfectly that well. I didn't go to because I jumped off the cliff. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee <laughs> lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley. It was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Eh. If they had Look, fired Stanley, me, I then think I would have just gotten off on not the left, because I'm not bad at following I'm directions. Not bad, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. You forgot about Please, someone? Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Who did I I'm neglect? I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For her? This is Ooh, it, Stan. Do I have a life? Your chance to redeem yourself. Do I have a girlfriend? To put your work a aside. Girlfriend? To let her back into your is life. Is it my mom? She's been waiting. What? Just plug. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To oh, I can answer the phone. But what if I? If you can truly play. Can I unplug the phone? And... Oh, oh no, no, I can't. No, no, you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? <laughs> Well, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Actually, <laughs> chosen correctly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. That was gross. No, yeah. it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, oh, and the two wife. pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. Ah. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. No. Please observe this helpful decision making video. is gross. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical <laughs> real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius what? of his house. Which choice would you make? 
Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking Fish. with a person <laughs> who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Oh, that's so Do many. you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, <laughs> your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. All right. Ah, oh, welcome whoa. Back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. All right, one second. I just need to go do something real quick. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, thanks for joining, guys. I hope you're enjoying what's going down. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that follow button, because I'll be streaming, I think, most of the week this week. Should be doing a Portal stream tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, Portal 2 stream tomorrow. And then on... Uh, Friday, I might be able to do some Terraria, and on Saturday, I'll do some, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'll do. Something fun, probably Portal 2 again. But not to worry, now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago, and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. All right. <coughs> choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. I'm pretty we sure just need to get you home sense. as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Sorry for any lag that you get. Stuff happens sometimes. I know I should be hopefully getting better Wi Fi soon, but I don't know. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All, all right. right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I can't tell my left from right. No! Why did oh, you do that? What? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps Ooh. we're not too late. What's in there? Oh, jeez. I broke stuff. I'm going back here, didn't do anything. Alright, sure. I wonder if everything's gonna be all good up in the uh oh no. Ugh, oh, it's ruined. <clears throat> you I can't believe after everything we talked about that you my story, you've destroyed my work! 
Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed Excuse to do? You? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't that live that way. Is it better nah. to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? The answer is 42. I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. No! I have to. I have to. No! Whoa. Um. Um. Oh, well, everything's off. Did it work? Ooh. Ew. Ew. I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought Me. you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing it. in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. It wasn't my fault. Did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Yeah. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? No. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to Am do something, there's a damn good reason for it. No, I'm stuck. That thought oh, hasn't even him. occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Sorry again. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. But I it would have been so that. perfect. I worked so hard <coughs> on it. I tried so hard. Um. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to the staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's Why office. Why can't I go downstairs? Is that open? Oh, is it open? Oh, it's not open. That's weird. Whoa! Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley what wondered in disbelief heck? who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He Night drew Shark a shark one one five and then spoke the code. <laughs> Night Shark 115. That's not doing anything. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. Uh, it's not working, dude. I can't talk. I'm the most expensive boss. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, Business did you? Strategy, Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Carte blanche. That means something white. Okay, fine. A You're not going to do it. But you know what? That also means it's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things <clears> to do. <throat> I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. 
the kind well, of respect that. Stanley shows for his choices, he knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. What is going on? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um. Is that what Stanley looks like? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. What? I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? What? Can you hear me? Can okay, I, I think there's more options than that. Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Um... Uh... <laughs> And it's restarted again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Could Stanley mean? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply Double lost a memory. Rainbow. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his oh, co-workers. The Isn't there like something out there? I've heard that you can get through a window. Ooh, computer's on. I, I, oops. It's if I turn off all the computer screens. Input received. Huh? Right. I hate Mondays. So who do I? When Stanley came to a set of two of them, this right. was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge the, uh, first, just to admire quick. it. Yeah. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. What? Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. Then it came back, and lingered for a minute or two. Huh? Now it's only half there. Just a kind of, um, tingle. Tingle. Alright, that was odd. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Click everything. No. Wait a minute. What is that? And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead you? to the opposite door, and got back on track. Going down an elevator now. Should be on until want to go back for me to one o'clock. He wanted to so wander about and get another further off track. Hour and so a half. now, in order to get back, he needed to go um uh, uh, from here. It's um left. All right, left. Oh no! What? No, it's to the right, man. Mistake. To the right. No. Gosh, no, no, dude. No, not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? It's gonna what be in here. Was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Paper's wrestling. <laughs> now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay. I thought it was going to be through the... 
I feel like I should take this car, but they, how did this car get in? Is that a garage behind it? Yeah, that's a garage. Ah! No, 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 This isn't right at all. You're not supposed Spoilers. to be here yet. This Spoilers. is a spoiler. Spoilers. Good, Stanley, close your eyes. That, okay, I can't. Okay, okay, okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, dun, 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 oh, who am I kidding? Dun, 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 it's all dun, rubbish dun, 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 The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. No! Time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Uh. Okay, from the top. Okay, then. Back at the beginning. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, Stanley well. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, his computer screen's off. I'm still thinking that that does something, but it doesn't. I feel like it should. Oh, what? Wait, wait, what? No, I, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. I'm completely fresh. Too. Everything should be. Well, did something change, Stanley? Did you change anything? I didn't touch you were back anything. in that room with all the monitors. Did you move the story somewhere, or? A, Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> it was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. I didn't do it. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find I'll the story. I'll go this way. I don't want to go in there yet. Let's see what, what's back here. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? No, don't restart it. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Oh, there was a door. Okay, let's give it a shot. No, 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 no. No, there was that door thing, and I wanted to go in there. Oh. All of his co-workers were gone. Don't what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Um. Hey, I'm on top of this. That's a thing. Um. Well, now there's no door. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. Oh, there's the door. Oh wait, that's the door I came through. <laughs> Aha! Oh, what? I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Okay. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. What is now this going? Well, I'll be on. honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I, don't I think win. So. I can't is quite this recall, the end of the game? I believe my story took place in an office building. It... The door's gone. Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? <clears throat> no, I don't Do you remember. Know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing. How about this? You win! Woo! Congratulations! Yay, no confetti. I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so <laughs> good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you did. And put in any actual work for that win. Some people win yeah, fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. <laughs> so am I. What might happen this time? I have to restart. Here we go. Another restart. <gasps> All right, 
I've got a solution. An this adventure time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. <laughs> the <TM>. Just follow <laughs> the line. How simple is that? Um. He's playing solitaire. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. It's back here. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, <laughs> is blown. the story of no destination still a story? I don't know. Simply by the act of moving forward. Are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. All right, I just got now confused a little Now we can both agree bit. that the nature of existence is in fact what? a byproduct oh. of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay, okay follow now that. if my experience of your existence rests oh, inside of your drunk. subjective experience of I this office, is this office, in fact, in the, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. Oh, but you were talking you know about what? it. I think what we need right oh, now seven? is a bit oh. of music to lighten the mood. I like this. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, yes. this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. Focusing! Anything special about this, or...? I'm uh, moving on. I got bored. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The I story? told you the line was drunk. Is any of this ringing a bell? Okay, that's weird. I just keep following the line. Again, Line, how could you have done this to us? And after Line, for shame. After everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with Restart. It. Restart. Adventure Line. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the Adventure Line. What's it yeah. happen for us? Forget We're that. people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Let's... Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? All right, will do. That's exciting. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me yeah. and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Not again. Anything. Why does it do what this? Do so weird. story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. That was absolutely odd. Oh, oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No <laughs> lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. 
We should be fine. Oh, uh, sh go away. Bye. Oh, sorry, I wasn't supposed to acknowledge it. And ah, what? A choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles. <laughs> I was already doing okay. that. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere Ooh, the I'm place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? What? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. What? Another victory victory for... Logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny. All right. Destiny. Real quick to anyone who's watching, thanks for joining and uh, I'm having a real fun time. Go ahead and hit that follow button and join me tomorrow when I play some Portal 2. And. Oh. oh hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's oh, going well, there's on. Just a single I don't chair want to be here. trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I, I won't, won't do it. it. I, I won't, won't do it. it. And the uh, oh. stopped. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? We broke the game. 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 Something happened. The game broke. Okay. The the broke the the game broke. I guess now we just wait. You know. The game broke. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? We broke the game. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are true. right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... What? Um... All of his co-workers were gone. Ah, he did but forget. Did this was the sixth... Stanley decided to go to the is meeting there, This was Perhaps the sixth restart as I tried English. Good job. Pat on the back to me. Um, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop is there by anything the employee different, lounge or first, did it just, just like restart it. the game completely. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy and but eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the main section, down there. walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. What? All right. Calm down. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wait, 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 wait. Upstairs, I. I want to see if I can like dupe the door.
Stepping no! into the manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover <sighs> not an indication of any human life. What, what could it, it mean? Two, eight, Stanley four, five. wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. <laughs> what is going on? Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, <laughs> Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Dun, 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 dun. Alright. Time to go down the elevator. This time I'm gonna go down the escape route. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door nope. that read Mind Control Facility. Escape! Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I don't believe you. Escape! The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. That door's too far away. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Um. All right. Yellow. that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley Who was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing Ew. him instantly. Up. Um. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Well, that's sad. Good job on the game. This is pretty strange. 
I already came from there. I'll go down here. That's not the lounge. Oh, an early version of the employee lounge. Narrator emails. How do you make a jerpig? How do you make the worst game ever? How is the difference? What is the difference between a duck? Weird. Words, words. This text, if someone could just get rid of the text, maybe then I could see what the game is about. <laughs> Alright, printer. Maintenance room. The office. And I'm back here. Is there like a way out? Am I just stuck in here? It's over here. How do I get out of here? <laughs> um. Oh, there it is. The exit. <laughs> totally missed it. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you no. see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. I don't There's think no I will. Other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. <laughs> I, I died. Ah, yes. All of his co-workers were gone. Don't worry. What could it mean? Wait a minute. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo.
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I want to see if I can get out of the doorway thing. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley oh, decided to go uh... up to his boss's office. Hoping he'd come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. <gasps> Money crisp. <laughs> Can I flush it? Oh, I can't. Worth it. What's in here? What? Can I go up? Alright, then. I'm glad I got to see the uh, bathroom thing though. That's cool. What happens if I hit on instead of off? When I get down there into the whatchamacallsit. Yeah, the mind control facility. What if I turn it on again? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mind Control Facility. Lights, camera, button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find Isn't out? Isn't there like a way to turn on cheats in this game? I want to fly up there. Hey, anyone who's watching, how do you uh, now the monitors jump to life. turn on cheats? <laughs> I want to see what's up there. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives I of know. so many individuals reduced to images of the Stanley, One of them, eternally yeah. monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? <clears throat> was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. I his can't. Own life I cannot accept this. Someone else's it's control? unacceptable. Never. And, and, it was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Was it what? Had he truly attention. spent his entire oh, life the mind control utterly facility. blind yes. to the world? Ooh, what's that? Oh, I've already been in here. But here was the proof. The heart of was the operation. There? Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad 
or content. Walking, or eating, to get up there? working, all of it monitored and One, commanded from this very place. Two. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Guess not. I'm control idle, awaiting input. Input on. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? I did. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yeah. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. What? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating right. the entire complex. Until detonation then, mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? Maybe if I hit four. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly. Hey, Jay, what what's up? I erased them. I turned off flat? the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. I think it's Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Whoa. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Yeah. I look at you, running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless to see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. Like that's the 30 seconds you have cool. left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? 
another choice. What's up? Or don't. How it's you all the same to me. All a part of the joke. I'm streaming and for another me, hour or so. I've been at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in. And you missed like the I, say, I think the first. Up. Yeah, this game. Oh. Yeah, I haven't played this game yet, and I've I've had it for like a year. Yeah, a while. I was just too lazy to play it. But I'm streaming myself playing it. I've been playing for uh, an hour and a half right now. The meeting room. So yes, that's where everyone would be. Well, maybe Stanley just an just hour. Needed to I get had to the meeting to room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Do a little beginning thingy. Get the, everything set up. Make everything all right. Is everything looking good? Everything being all happy. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, I still haven't done the wife ending. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Woot woot. The lounge was grand, majestic. Perhaps That'd be but pretty cool. to get back to business, in, then Stanley be... took the first open door. I think there's one other person in here right now, just kind of chilling. Yeah, there's one other person in here just chilling with us. He hasn't put anything into chat, but I know you're there, Damiel. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, but yeah, I after I finish streaming, I'm gonna here. post this up on I'm YouTube, and really, my uh, stream from I yesterday mean, is up on YouTube as well. In someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. My first stream, this though, this I couldn't get that up on YouTube because Stanley. it didn't save someone onto Twitch. Never. So, please, amazing, everything looks every awesome. Thank you. By yourself. I'm not asking for me. Someone popped in for a little bit before and told me that everything was laggy and then it, like didn't Stan. say another word. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let yeah. her back into your life. She let her been back waiting. into my life. Huh? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. I picked up the phone. Before I unplugged it and got like everything broken. Four two seven. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm what? just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. What? Oh come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? They'd want to commit their life to you. Oh, that's so I'm mean. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. <laughs> this is a very yeah, sad a story about grody. the death of a man named Stanley. Oh. Press T on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job. Yeah, this game is awesome. Him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Oh, I should have played this a long time ago. Press C. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now I got to see the uh, lunch. Now he's going whatever it's called, bathroom yeah. theme. He's coming back. The management's work. bathroom, the executive bathroom. Him, That's what it is. Except that he's chosen this life. It was pretty interesting. Press F. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries. Oh, wait, wait, one second. I've got to do something real quick. I will be right back. All right, all right, I'm back. Oops. New lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work, 
was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Press forward to watch TV. And so he began to fall like about babe. his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co workers, <clears throat> his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Oh, this is my office desk. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost What's too up, wonderful cupcake? to behold. How you be doing? As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths oh, and destinations. Oh, the uh, sink is gone. Down one path lay an enormous well, does the mannequin go away? I don't like the mannequin. And mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. The Stanley Parable. To yell at my kid, or, oh, to tell my kids a story. I was like, why would I hit, why to yell? And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, yes. and again, over and over. You're happy? Wishing That's awesome. Hope that it would How you been? End, it's been a long time. Feel this free. By a long Surely time, it's like an answer down some maybe, new path. Maybe less, Must probably maybe? less, I don't know. Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. Ah, yes, the mannequin is gone. Possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Press Y and to I'm go to sleep. I'm trying to tell him this: that in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains What's the here, pop -up he's color? I don't even know what that is. Is that the color of your name? Don't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Oh, the sound of my chair. Just listen to it. Next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Oh, that chair, though. You Where see, you been? Oh, and it's my me? office. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Eight. Question nothing. <laughs> I can't. Not in the way I want him oh. to. But I don't make yeah, my chair. I, I, I try not to move in my chair because it's just... It just... Well, so yeah, it does that. It's not fun. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. <clears throat> I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. Ew, look at that computer. It's all boxy and old again. and who? Please die. What? And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. You have Ben and your room? Why you no join Pyro Streams? So sad. We miss you long time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps All these computers are displaying Mr. something different than before. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. turn off every computer. That's on, anyway. Input received. Okay, I've clicked on that... I've clicked on one of those computers twice. My goal is to figure out what happens if I click on them enough that they fill up. It... it's... It's curious, when Stanley really. came to a set of right, two open there. doors, he entered the door on his How head. does like you? <coughs> Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley I decided to go I went in there once and it yelled at me. Office, hoping coming to a staircase, Stanley walked I upstairs to his yet. boss's office. What's in here? Ooh, but Stanley just Bird. couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of yes, facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during no. work hours. He Your nerve is not nerd enough. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Okay, All because um, he believed everyone had vanished. It's his loop boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe or is it? Exit. Himself, Maybe I am crazy. Or not. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. <clears throat> and as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet ah! when he looked down? 
Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they you two can take. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm He's dreaming. getting serious up in this game. Oh, I'm dreaming. This is all Inception. a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Lucid so dreaming. He I've tried that once. Yeah, I never tried it again. To gently float oh! The ground. Cool. Then he imagined himself uh. soaring through space on a magical star field. And I want to fly again. Him, oh, this it is... It was so much fun that Stanley <laughs> marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest the question mist. of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly it kind of lopsided. I'm dreaming about goes. a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever <coughs> been in his life. Oh, my throat is killing me today. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, Pyro said he wouldn't be able to join the stream today. I don't know if he's dream. like at work or something. The voice not see him float I'm guessing it's work, so... Just a moment ago. How else would the voice explain all that? Yeah, he might this not voice be on was for a, a while. part of himself too. Surely, and surely. This is usually if he around just... when I start my streams. He would prove it. Just he now. would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. This is a dream. So he closed his eyes gently and he invited himself to wake up. Oh. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. Waking up. The fresh air of a world outside this one. It was my chair. Let me wake up. Oh, it made me yawn. <laughs> I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let the dream Let be me over. go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. <clears throat> it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my, my job. job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. All right. <laughs> I'm still in here. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone oh. wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I what must be real. On? I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Calm Where down. Am I? Where am I? And everything went black. Excuse you? <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella? Hello, Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of Oh, now Stanley. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And like in that me. Moment, ah. she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am I'm sick. hungry too. <laughs> I am in control I didn't have of lunch. my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It what was is real, comforting though? to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man my made her feel alone. better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. 
She had so no she's time just for gonna this. Leave me? So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. What? I don't like that story. Alright, time to push on the computer screen again. See what happens if I do that. I clicked twice. This is number three. Alright. So before I exit this room, before he starts talking, I think tomorrow I'm gonna play some Portal 2. How does that sound? Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Mind which computers can have it. None of them? Oh man. I know that I can push it. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing when Stanley all. came to a set of two open doors, sure, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Why am I mean? Yet there was not a what single I person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hope coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here's the door, just go. <laughs> wow. This narrator is getting salty. Oop. Portal 2. Yeah, Portal 2. Portal 2 is awesome. I <laughs> Portal 2 is like my favorite game. Portal 2. I probably beat Portal 2 at least seven Stanley times. Walks but, straight ahead through hey, the large it's fun every time the I play it. Mind control facility. Mind control facility. I literally just wasted time going back through here, but I don't want to begin the game again because that's kind of lame. The lights rose on an enormous Isn't room there another with television thing that you screens. Can do? How do you... What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength? Oh, to out? like M I N E or M E A N? I'm kind of slow. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true uh... nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. <clears throat> Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh, one second, I need to add something I keep forgetting to add down in the corner. Eh. Add. This. Sorry about this. Alright, there we go. Just throwing that down there. Alright, let's do this. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. I'm not sure I just Had Stanley normal? really been under someone's control all this time? <laughs> On your property. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused no. to believe it. He Never. couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Hashtag can't stop, Never. won't stop. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? I can fly. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind Is there anything to the world? else I can do in here? There has to be something else. And here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with Probably emotions. Not. Happy or sad. Or content. Five. Walking, eating, working. All of it. Whatever, I'll just turn it off, get through this ending, this and then go back place. through and do some and other And as the ending, cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would. Be what? Excuse you? I keep forgetting it does that. 
blackness. There's like some sort of combination of, of things that get to some other ending. There has Was to be. It over? I do, I, I still do have to add you on Skype, but no one ever told me your Skype. Yes. I was won. never told what it he is. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Freedom! And yet, even as the immense <clears throat> door slowly opened, is there something I can do in here? On how many like, puzzles before it opens all the way? Sold. Where had his co workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? We got ourselves like four viewers up in here. Actually, three, but three viewers. But as sunlight What's streamed that? into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. None of it. For it was not knowledge or even power not a last that bit. he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but, but to let go. No longer would anyone like tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. How many endings are there in this game? Because I don't want to look it up and spoil it was them. Perhaps the only thing. Tell me. Doing. Stanley stepped through the open door. The ending is Stanley real. Stanley felt right. the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Cracking my fingers, cause yeah. And different ending. Alright. Let's look for something that I haven't seen. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley um, decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What? <laughs> Alright. When Stanley um, came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. That's alright, I'm on mobile, so it came up for me. Um... Um... This was not the correct way to the meeting. That was different. Stanley knew it perfectly well. What was that? Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge. Floor. Why does it just, just glance over right. that like it didn't happen? I want to know. And here it was, the lounge. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open different. door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. What? Really? What? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? I think last time I followed him when he told me to go through the door. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to this happen to you? This time I'll just go through Why? the blue door. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Let me Look, go through the blue let door. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. The blue door. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley, Stanley walked, walked through, through the, the red, red door. door. Nope. Aha. <laughs> Perhaps uh, you misunderstood. What? Stanley walked through the red door. Two. Why just two? Ha 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 ha. Can I go further? I still huh? don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Red. Oh, look, blue. <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. I choose my own adventure. So you can't stop there. me. You find out what I'm lies a rebel. at the end of this road you've chosen. Well, don't let me stop you. Such a rebel. And see, I broke the game. There's nothing here. I haven't I've even like finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? 
Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Ooh, Do you not think I put a lot of time upset. in that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Narrator, this please, is eat a you Snickers. Wanted. You're not you, and you're Help hungry. me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. Twix? I think what it's would Snickers. have made this game better? What did you want know. to see? I love that chair. Skill trees? Ew. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you... Wow, almost give for me two feedback. hours. There we go. A this already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. So take it for a okay, Ten out of ten. I like that. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell fun. me about your experience with this new version. Would fun. you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? I liked it. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instant. Okay, yeah, it is. Snickers got it. In your gut. Thank you. <laughs> I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. I can Here, do whatever I want. Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. All right, Perfectly sweet. Perfectly candid. I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley Por Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Alright. Mussolini? <laughs> <laughs> a dead rat that <laughs> that was mean <laughs> I don't like that that was rude now would you say no. that competitive leaderboard you said I was last place feel motivated to keep Jerk. walking through doors again I want to get over there answers, I don't know what that is but I, I want hey, over there. I nearly forgot I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing <laughs> you wouldn't mind taking a look at it, it would you perfect let me boot it up Ooh, new game. In this what? game, the baby crawls left towards danger. Oop. You click the button to move him back to the right. And baby, if he reaches no. the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. <clears throat> all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really <sighs> take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you I get four down. hours play of play to hours. make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Ew. The button sound is gross. One second. This is just loud and obnoxious. Oh, there's nothing I can do. Should I just let the baby go? Tell me. What should I do? Should I keep saving the baby or just let the baby go? <laughs> Should I just kill the baby? I'm waiting for your reply on Twitch. The noise is actually funny. It is, but it's so annoying. Oh, what do I do? Do I let the baby go? Or do I continue to save it? Uh. <laughs> Dude, the baby 
is the answer to the dubstep I'm making. Oh gosh! Okay, bye baby. I'm sorry. Oh, oops. You heartless bastard. <laughs> you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me. Because it's the matter when I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. He's out. It's over. Thirty-nine thousand. You Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey! Since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to leave the pain. Let's play someone else's Let's game. See. What do we have here? Sure, I like that. Yes. This seems like it'll. We're we gonna play some uh, shot. Portal. Let's play Portal. We'll play Portal. No, no, no. Oh, we're playing Minecraft. Well, Is this any better? Would you like a Minecraft stream? Would that be fun? Absolutely nothing to do with. I have Minecraft. Is it enough? I can just switch to Minecraft right now. Ever be enough? Well, I'll say this.